Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us again for another Indie Friendly Conversation. And this time we have a personal favorite of mine, a dynamic artist, The Hummingbird is with <laughs> us. Say hello to the people, brother. What's good, everybody? How are y'all? Peace and blessings. Hopefully y'all feeling as good as I am. It's good to see you, Sid, as always, even if it's digital. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, man, thank you so much for joining us. And I see on your Instagram, you have a lot of content that you're creating and you're doing these one minute musicals. And I think it's so genius because you can kind of, uh, like they say, hit it and quit it and then come with another another video the next day. And, and so talk about how, how you keeping this content constantly flowing in the midst of, of course, what we're going through right now. Well, I think uh, just considering what we're going through, um, it gives you a lot of like exclusive time. So I felt like, um, cause I'm not really big at social media and I'm a little old school. I'm used to, you know, seeing people in real life and kind of experiencing people hand in hand, eye to eye, you know, environment, however that is. But I felt like um, those that do follow me, those that do support, um, they they needed a little niece. They need something to hold them over. And so I was inspired by one of these uh, rappers. Um, her name is Armani Monroe. And uh, she's one of my favorites. And she came out with a mixtape. And it was called uh, Murder in Under a Minute. And I know it sounds crazy, but um, she did one minute, like, freestyle raps to almost any beat you could think about, 20 songs straight. And um, the way that Instagram is limited, uh, they limit everything pretty much down to one minute. So if you have a video or something you're trying to showcase, and so the things that I was trying to fit, yes, they have the, uh, what is it, the video where you can do the extended uh, thing, but it doesn't really, it's not really programmed to be on everybody's feed. So I wanted people to be able to see it, you know what I'm saying? So I felt like making a one minute post would also cultivate me in that challenge um, kind of getting my gears running for these next couple of albums that I'm dropping, or, well, projects, I'm going to say, that I'm dropping. So the One Minute Musicals was just an inspiration to give my people something that they could feel good about, whether it's inspiration, whether it's, you know, trials, tribulations, whatever they're going through in that moment, something to grasp, and as well as be able to see my face, make myself a little more social. So One Minute Musicals, it, it has a lot of little target points. Right, right. Well, I see you working very hard on it and, and you keeping it coming, man. You keeping it flowing. And I see that you're very diligent in your posting and, and the things that you have created during this time. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you've never seen the Hummingbird perform, his performance is one of the more dynamic performances that you will see. I'm talking about from the choreography to the singing. He's a poet. And when he performed at Indie Friendly Night, it was one of the most theatrical presentations that we have ever had on our stage. Wow. So I know that right now you're limited to where you can perform and everything, but I see that in spite of that, you're still giving the people what they want. So if you had to describe your style, how, I know that's really hard, but if you had to describe your style to the people, how would you do that? Uh, I've become dynamic um, and I feel like that having that certain level of uh, courageousness to step out of your own zone, it allows you to expand in so many areas that even when you group back to what your original sound was, your original being, it, it also evolves with that. So I've been venturing out to new sounds, whether it's pop, whether it's rock, uh, gospel, you know, that, that's my number one route, but getting back to those roots. You know, um, I feel like my sound, if I had to give it something, a word, it would have to be dynamic. Dynamic. Oh, yeah. That's how I <laughs> describe my sound as well, as, as dynamic. Mm -hmm. as it's, it's hard to, uh, to put yourself in a box, especially when you are a pure artist. Uh, yeah. so that, that means anything can happen. You're just mm -hmm. making yourself a blank canvas and anything could go on there. So yeah. um, so what do you try to convey to the audience when you produce? Because you, you produce your own, your own music, you, you're your own yeah. composer and you write your own songs, right? Yeah. So 
What do you typically try to convey to the audience? Um, that there's another way. Um, we're not really given a lot of options when it comes to music and trying to make um, preparations for our next moment in life. And a lot of the choices that we do um, intake are influenced by media, are influenced by music, are influenced by the news, or just the next decision at point that sounds really good. And I feel like if people are going to listen to my music, whether they're going through depression, whatever it is that they're dealing with at that moment, um, because it is fun things too, it's some fun things you can draw from it, but the, the holistic idea is that people can contemplate, can take a moment, to themselves and realize that, you know, instead of me going out of the way of flesh or the way of malice or whatever it is, that there's another option that could imply itself to be better to your life, whether it is you're helping change someone's or just trying to gather information to make your next step, that there's another way, there's another chance just to give people hope. I think hope is my ultimate message. That's beautiful. And I think that's much needed in a time like this because yeah. that, there's enough of negativity out there in, in the music world. And I mean, I could go on and on about that. So the fact that you're making a conscious effort to convey hope, I think is yeah. much needed and very important. So you briefly mentioned a couple of projects. So can you expand <laughs> on that? What, what do you got coming, man? Come on. Uh, okay. Um, I'm usually quiet, but you know, you my boy. <laughs> right, yeah. But um, I have um, one that I've been promoting lately is my Moons Project. Um, a lot of people don't know, but uh, this is the last Lost Feathers that I'll be dropping. Um, I'm going to be going more into the producing part. Um, I've been talking with a few people, creating this coalition because I want to be able to create film. I want to be able to do theater. I want to be able to expand my message more than just implying my music into the things that, you know, I think people want to hear, but what they want to see as well. But um, we'll talk about that later. But Moons is a new project that I'm releasing, which is basically me tapping in, GPSing where I am now, creating a uh, sound along with definition, because each song is a, a certain definition, words you may not have heard before, but are very relatable. Um, being able to teach them, you know, about my experiences and make them a little more personal about me because a lot of people, you know, they get there. I don't want to have like that church feeling where you go to church and, you know, you receive something and it, you know, it may or may not be for you. But in this moment, I want people who are looking for those answers, like who is Hummingbird? Who is this guy? Like, where is this element? Like, I hear all the things that he goes through, but just being able to hear his voice, being able to um, understand his story a little more, getting a little more interpersonal, a little more um, less regretful <laughs> about what I have to say and those things that I stand for. Um, I think it's going to take people to a new climate when it comes to my music and kind of let them know that I have been working in the background. Um, like I said, uh, Lost Feathers 3 is coming out. Uh, it'll be out June 27th of next year. It drops annually every year. And um, I think this experience is going to bring people home. So that's pretty much all I have to say about it. But um, Moons, also, I have some amazing, amazing, amazing people on this album. It's a complete uh, collaboration album. Um, you'll see uh, artists such as Attila, uh, artists such as Nate Drop, artists such as Brittany Bama, artists such as Tinker. Um, I'm working with and creating this holistic idea that's really going to give people are just a major lift in what music, like the reality of music, like what music can be, what is to come, what's a new sound, like just new inspiration. So I really hope people enjoy this because I know that the process has been very gratifying. Oh man, the, the way you describe it, man, is it builds up the anticipation to, to where <laughs> I, I can't wait to hear it. And then you annually drop this on June 27th. That's a Houston mm -hmm. holiday, man. Yeah, it's my birthday. Really? <laughs> June 27th. Yeah, June 27th. Wow, man. My, my niece's birthday is on June 27th. That's, man, that's oh, a coincidence. Well, she'll need a free CD. She'll need some merch. She'll need, you know, she, that's my twin there. So we'll most definitely have to connect in that area. But yeah, June 27th, that's my birthday, man. And I just came to Houston. I realized that everybody was kind of like, you know, 
I guess it's supposed to be a big event where people are like drop tops and things like that. But I'm sure this year was kind of a delay and all that due to COVID. So I can't wait to get in Houston to really see what that's about. Yeah. Now, where are you originally from? Uh, Jasper, Texas. Jasper, Jasper Texas. Texas. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Small city. Um, but a lot of life. You know what I'm saying? People that live that small really experience what it is to have real connections. And so, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to really get into that, but um, it's uh, it's home to me. And though it has a lot of bad news circulating around it and certain things that may have happened back in the past, I've made some real relationships there. And uh, my mom, my family is there. So, of course, I wish them all safe. But Jasper, Texas, yeah, man. <laughs> Just That's for Texas it. in the house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, I noticed that you make it a point to really make yourself vulnerable to the audience. So yeah. speak a little about the importance of allowing people a window inside. Because a lot of times as artists, of course, we can create, but then there's some insecurities that artists have sometimes. And we mm -hmm. may not want to let everybody know everything about us. But it seems to me that you have a sense of freedom about yourself and about your creativity. Speak a little yeah. bit about that. Um, I think the freedom just comes from uh, a church background. I'm non-denomination. So with God, you know, being the total climax of the whole situation, you allow him to have his way. And so me being vulnerable, allowing people to see that softer side allows them access to a new level of understanding. They feel like I am more approachable. So now they'll not only be open to speaking, but open to receiving. It's more so about creating an atmosphere of comfortability because you want the soul man to be, I mean, the eyes, yeah, they're going to wonder, but you know, the spirit man is, it's, it's a whole nother realm it's a it's something that they think about it's something that they're going to dream about it's something that they're going to see coming to fruition so i don't want you to i guess leave with the message of oh hummingbird he can do amazing thing he can dance he can sing but there was something that he said that i know penetrated me i may not know the lyric i may not know the word but i know that there was something about him that if i don't take heed to this or if i don't you know, listen to what he's trying to relay that it could affect me in a negative way or it could affect me in a positive way if I decide to not only listen, but listen with the intent to do. It's also just about making those relationships because you don't really get to connect with your audience. And a lot of people are intimidated first by me because I'm like four stories tall. <laughs> so it doesn't make it as easy to just walk up to a person and you really don't know them and then on top of that they're like super huge so it's like you don't want to be awkward in front of them you know but um, it's just simply about connecting with my audience and allowing them if they felt like there was something that needs to be said or if there was a, div a divine hearing or word that they needed to speak or like it, uh, it allow them because a lot of them, they feel your music, they, they'll they come to you, but they don't really say much. And that's because their spirit is fraught or full of fright. You know what I'm saying? So it's just about allowing people to know, hey, it's all right to be sensitive. It's all right to show that side because worship, I was taught that worship comes from a level of femininity. There's no place in it for I'm not going to say masculinity, but there's no place to second guess motion. There's no place to second guess your gift. There's no place to do it wrong. You can't do it wrong. So regardless of whether your passion is in it or not, when it's something that you're set out to do, whether it's a mission and your heart is in it, that's just, that's just what comes. You have to be able to set that atmosphere in order for people to receive you wholeheartedly. So that's pretty much the mission. <laughs> yeah. So, so your art, and your creation comes from a very spiritual place. Yes. Um, and so with that being said, you come from a very pure spiritual place, but we live in a world that's so material and yeah. that is so superficial in a way. So how do you gauge if what you are creating is reaching people or how, how can you determine for yourself if what you're releasing is successful? I measure my success by my persistence. Regardless of what happens, regardless of who doesn't listen or who doesn't support, 
there's always somebody that is open to receive and whether they hear me one day or don't hear me the next, the long, as long as I'm saying the same message, as long as I'm pushing, someone's going to eventually hear. So I measure my success by the testimonies of those that have heard the word and received and inbox me. You know, I can put a monetary value on it. I can put, a, like you said, a materialistic value on it. But when it comes to me, I get my tallies and I build my stacks by the souls that I connect with, by the souls that come to me and find themselves in a place where they're not only uh, reaching for help, but they're reaching for me, reaching for me in specific. And I just, it, it's, it's a weird environment to be in if you're not spiritually prepared because the, the outpouring can become drastic. The want of people magnetically connecting themselves to you can become drastic, but that's why you have to stay strengthened in the things that you love. Use that virtue. When people want to see you, they're not here to see you, to drain from you all the time. Some people just want to give into your spirit. So just showing myself supportive, showing myself real enough that, you know, people don't have to second guess when they walk away is, is just number one for me. So I think the spiritual walk and the materialistic thing kind of separates itself. You're either one or you're the other. And I think the importance of the gray area lies in between people who fighting in between that transition. If they want to fight for everything that's materialistic, have the house, have the mansion, or if they want to be internally happy, if they want to know what it means to be internally grateful for real, to be uh, life bound for real, to adventure for real, to bless for real, to know what it's like to not only bless, but see the reciprocation of that. Though that's, it's just, hand, it's just you want, 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 and then there's need, there's desire, there's dream. That's, yeah. it just separates itself. I agree. I agree because I came to that crossroad myself um, as an artist. Of course, I'm an artist first before. Uh, I I'm know a, it. <laughs> you know, so uh, I came to that crossroads myself, brother, because my first album that I released, it was it was okay, but it was really surface. It was really surface. Mm -hmm. and, and it wasn't until that I did some soul searching myself and really dug in in myself in a real spiritual way that I came out with my second album, Art and Truth. And I agree, mm -hmm. but when you are in, in tune with your spirituality, man, it's, it's really a different realm that's so satisfying. And it's so comforting when you yeah. can tap into that because now what comes out of you is something that you never would have imagined, man, that you never would have imagined. And uh, not only would you have not imagined it, the people that hear you would not have imagined it. It's almost <laughs> like they don't even recognize you anymore. So, yeah. of course, there can be some uh, apprehension to that because sometimes when we grow, you know, we grow out of people and we grow out of certain audiences and people mm -hmm. would think that we change, but man, if you have not changed, then you have not grown. And that's just plain wow. and simple. <laughs> that's well said. <laughs> yeah, and if you have not grown, you have not changed. It works right. in that, vi that vice versa. I think where we become stagnant in the community is that our growth comes from us getting outside of ourselves. There are people who are open and willing to teach us like you and some people, some other showcase members that I've met like Coco Sullivan, who thank God is bringing back Flo and Pug. <laughs> you oh, know, yeah. shout those out that Coco are, Sullivan. shout out to Coco Sullivan, but you guys are the pillars. You know what I'm saying? And I think for us, we have to get in that same degree that y'all have going to each other's shows, supporting each other, creating the community. You know what I'm saying? It's so many things that become lost in the wind because we just let a high be a high instead of a high. How are you? You know what I'm saying? Instead of furthering those connections, it's fine to trade Instagrams, but I have so many like dead followers. But when I go to these shows and I see the real level of people, I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? Like that stuff doesn't matter. Like the material part, the technology, however this goes, the algorithmic part of it all, it's, it's just the realness of it. It's being able to really embrace people. So I think, I think that was a very interesting point you made. Oh, man, you know, <laughs> I, I come from the perspective of an artist. So, you know, 
I get it. And I think that that um, is the reason I've been able to connect with so many artists with Indie Friendly is because I know exactly what y'all going through. I, I know exact. I've been doing this, bro, since I was 15. So I've been through so many stages in my growth and development as a human being, as a musician, as a father, just all around, man. And I'm, I'm ever transitioning, you know, as we speak. So, you know, I, I get it, bro. That's how I can relate. And, you know, so you preaching over there to me, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's great. That's up. the object. Oh, so, yeah, man, I know you got your, your keyboard in front of you. Is that something you oh, like to yeah. have with us, man? Give us a little snippet of, of what we can look forward to. Oh, well, I got some things, but uh, I'm, I'm going to just take it back a little bit. The new material, I'm not going to break into just yet because I want to make sure it's it's wonderful before I perform it because I will be, that's a sneak, I will be performing it before it releases. So y'all be looking out for that. Well, just, just um, let the spirit lead you. Let the spirit lead okay. you. Okay. <laughs> Let me move these long legs on around, man. <laughs> All right. And the mountains we've moved were so close to impossible. And the fears we shared were less than nine. But you don't feel losing anything, not even me. But I'll hold on for you. Cause a lover I know would never, never settle. Oh, it's hard to say who you've become. It's hard to say who you've become. And the lover I am. Always find you. Oh, because I've searched so long for the one. Tell me of the one. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> nice, bro. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, man, yeah. let the people know where they can find you if they want to download your music or view your videos. How can they connect with the hummingbird? Most definitely. I would I would love that. Um, I'm just starting my YouTube, so bear with me. My YouTube is you'll find me at Hummingbird, the Hummingbird. If you get lost, just search Lost Feathers, which is the recent um mixtape that i just put out june 27 shout out to houston shout out to abstract flanders uh one of my main producers shout out to john allen stevens um but it's going to be all instagram handle uh all instagram handles all twitter handles all youtube handles spotify just find me at d a hummingbird you'll find a link to all my music in each pretty much everywhere now <laughs> i've been doing it pretty much uh about four years straight now. So if you don't find anything by now, then I need to call Google and let them know what's going on. For sure, <laughs> for sure. So I'll make sure that information appears on the screen, bro. So That's the it. Hummingbird on all social media platforms, I suggest that you all go check out what he has. He's a dynamic performer coming from a really spiritual place. So that may be something that feeds your soul one day. You never know. Just <laughs> give them a look, give them a, a listen, and man, yeah, I really appreciate you for joining us, bro. Like, oh man, it's it's about time, <laughs> it's oh, about yeah, time, man. And, and thank you for so much of your support that you give Indie Friendly by sharing our content from other artists' conversations. I really appreciate that as well. So, thank you, bro. Thank you, of course. It's the easiest problem I ever had, so don't worry about it, <laughs> don't mention it. <laughs> I enjoy sharing it so. Thank you guys for supporting me. You guys have always put me on 
this wonderful pedestal. And I honestly say I'm very grateful for the encouragement that you guys just go out of your way to show us each and every time from the show till now. Thank you for the real connections and for this opportunity. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. So before we get out of here, if there was any word or any message that you would give to another independent artist or someone who have stepped out on faith and started a journey, if that was something that you could tell them to keep on their mission and to keep on that path, what would that be? Be sure in yourself. Because when you walk sure and you seek the correct guidance, no one can tell you or stray you from that path. Find what it is. Find the source of your center. Create around that. Build that foundation and walk in your surety no matter what. It doesn't matter what everybody else has to say about you. It doesn't matter about any type of negativity or the word no. What's purpose for you is already seated and building itself inside your spirit, man. So you walk in your faith and walk in your surety. Don't let the world stop you. Walk in your faith and walk in your surety. Don't let the words, don't let the world stop you. I like that, bro. I like that. And that's great advice. That's great advice. So, ladies and gentlemen, the hummingbird, you know where to find him. Hey, you won't be disappointed. Thank you again for joining us, bro. And please follow Indie Friendly on our social media platforms. Like our video, like this video. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will really appreciate it. We have many more wonderful and interesting conversations such as this one that is going to be coming out pretty soon. So please subscribe to be notified. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, peace.